everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a sheet in haul for you which I'm really really excited to show you because I went a bit mad on there but there's so much stuff on there it's really really hard to stop but also I need an update of my wardrobe for summer and the last time I did a sheet in haul was winter so I'll pop the link up here so you can see my sheet in haul from Christmas time but now we're doing a summer sheet in haul and I'm so 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 excited to show you what I got. So with Shein, it's kind of very hit and miss. So what I tend to do is order a big order and then just send back what I don't like. It's a lot easier than keep ordering and sending it back, ordering, sending it back. And because they do take about seven days to get to you, it's not the fastest delivery service. So what I would recommend is just bulk ordering and then send anything back that you don't want. They are really, really good with the returns. I've returned stuff to them before and there was no issues at all. So if you're worried about that there's nothing to worry about so I've got lots of bits to show you I've got lots of dresses summer clothes two pieces bikinis swimsuits shoes bags earrings literally so much so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chat to you about each item and I'm gonna show you it on and we'll just go from there so I hope you enjoyed this video today and if you do then please remember to subscribe to my channel to watch more videos like this and click the like button if you enjoy. If you've ed ever ordered with Shein as well, then please let me know what you think of them and what you think of the clothes down below in the comments section. So the first item I'm gonna to talk to you about, I've got five bikinis to show you. So I'm gonna show you them first and then I'll show you them on. So I'm gonna start with my favorite bikini. This was 10 pound, which for a bikini, top and bottoms, I think is insane. It's literally so adorable. It's pink polka dot type hearts. It absolutely is gorgeous. That's the top and the bottom is a little bit cheeky. So it's a little bit like a thong at the back, but they're absolutely just, they just, I literally, I love it on. There's not really much to say about it apart from that. It's a bikini, but it fits me absolutely perfectly, which I was over the moon with because bikinis, I generally find really hard to fit my body. I don't know why, but I do. So the next bikini I've got to show you is a little pink one. Oh my God, how adorable is this? This is literally my favorite. This, oh, this is my favorite. They're both my favorite, okay? They're my two favorites. And this one again is quite a little cheeky bottom, but I was really unsure when I looked at the picture on the website what the material would be like and how good quality it would be when it came. But again, they're both really reasonable quality for the price and they'll probably last me a good two or three summers because I mean, we only go on holiday two or three times a year. Ideal. This bikini was 10 pound as well, 9.99. And I ordered this one in a large. So as you can see, I'm a 10 to 12, like it's not particularly large. There's not much there. I mean, I don't know where large boobies would fit in there if I had large boobies, luckily I don't. So yeah. But I love it, the material's great, the quality's great, fits great, win-win. So this bikini was 8 99 and I saw it, and I saw it and I thought of one that I'd previously seen on Instagram by someone called Olivia London or something like that. And I thought it looked really similar. So it's got really cute little tie bows either side, and then it's a one shoulder, and it has actually got little soft cups in as well, so you won't get any like nipple showage. And this is really, really cute, but I'm not going to keep this one because it's just not really my style. As much as I loved it and I saw it on someone else and just fell in love with it. But you know when you get it on, you're like, oh, I love it, but it's just not me. So that one's going to be going back. And that one's only $8.99. But again, the quality is really good. It's really thick. I really couldn't say anything negative about that. So the next bikini I have to show you, I bought in a large as well. Um, but what I would say is it's tiny. It's really, really small. Um, this was $8.99 and it's a white little bandeau bikini. It's really cute, but it's very up your bum. So yeah, depends if you like that kind of thing or not. But for me, this one will be going back. So next I've got a swimming costume for you. And as you probably all know by now, I love pink. So I saw this and it's like kind of cute, but kind of sexy. Honestly, I'm gonna show you a picture of it and then I'm gonna show you on. And Mm, it's just a little bit horrendous. So it was 7 dollars so I mean it was 
a bit optimistic. The material is actually really thick, it's double lined so it's really good quality but it just does absolutely not flatter my figure at all. So it comes with this really long, long, long strap which you're kind of like what on earth do I do with but it's very actually easy to figure out. So I'll put it around your neck, twist it around your body a bit and it's fine. Um, so yeah, I kind of think I would recommend this for maybe someone who has a larger bust than I do and um, yeah, I bought it in a size medium and it did fit absolutely fine so the measurements are very true to size but that one will be going back. So the last thing I've got to show you in the swimwear section is a kimono to go over the bikini and this I was just like I never really wear these kind of things on holiday, but I will see people wearing them. I'm like, they're really nice. Like, I should get one for next year. So I bought one for this year. But it's a one size, and I mean, you could just see by the width I'm holding it up against the screen. I haven't tried it on yet, but it's very, very wide. I mean, I know they're meant to be loose. You could say one size when someone who's a size six, that will probably drown. And it's probably even going to drown me. So I'll show you it on, and then we'll see what it looks like. It is actually quite nice quality, but it was £20. I don't really think it's worth £20 just to sort of cover up a bikini. But we shall see. So the next section I'm going to show you is like dresses and jumpsuits. So the first thing is this lovely little dress. Oh, this is so cute. This is literally adorable. It's got a lovely, lovely frill bottom. And it's... $14.99 and it came in a size medium. It's got a broderie anglais sleeve. Well, it's actually kind of broderie anglais the whole thing, but the sleeves are especially, and it's just, they're so pretty. Like all those little details for like 15 pound is absolutely bonkers. So I'm really, really excited and I hope this one fits nice. It looks like a nice length as well, not too short. It's got a little sort of skater style bottom and a little bit of a plunge, which we love we love. Now the next dress is actually quite similar but this one was $19.99 and it's just got a higher neck, it's Brodie Anglais again which is very in fashion at the minute and has really cute little sleeve details again literally I don't really know what to say it's pretty much the same dress but with a different top. Um, a little bit more covered up, a little bit more sophisticated and smart so yeah, we like that one. I think it does look a little bit smaller though, and that was meant to be a large, so. So now I've got another, another white dress to show you. In case you didn't realize, white is probably my favorite color to wear besides pink. I just love all neutral colors, as you will know from if you've watched my nine tips how to look expensive video, which I'll pop a link up here too. Um, I always just think that neutral colors just look really classy and sophisticated without you even really trying. So, I've got another little white dress for you. This one was $14.99, and this bit here ties into a little bow around your bust area, which I think looks really cute. But this one's a little bit shorter, so I think it's more like a beachy sort of dress, like a day dress rather than an evening wear one. So that looks nice. We'll um, see how that is on. The next dress I've got for you is, um, this looks like a really beachy dress. This one was $12.99. It's got those cute little buttons on that you're seeing everywhere at the minute. Um, it's got a really cute pinstripe. It looks like it's gonna be very plungy. Um, so we'll see how that goes because you won't be able to wear a bra with it. Um, and it's got really cute actually little tassel details that you don't expect when you buy something for like $12.99. You don't expect it to have little details like that which I loved. Um, it looks like a little beachy dress, I think. It's very lightweight. It's al almost like linen-y feel, but I'm guessing it's not. And then it comes with this little bow, which I guess you could just tie around the waist where it'd be fancy. And we'll see how that fits on. I think it's gonna fit nicely. It looks very short. That's the only thing I would say, is it, my bum cheeks will probably be out, which I don't mind if I'm on the beach, but I won't be wearing that in the evenings <laughs> if, if that's the case. So the last thing I've got to show you in my dress and jumpsuit section is this little jumpsuit, which again is not really in my style, but you know when you just see these and you're like, I love that, I love that, I really want to try it on. And I've actually seen someone upload um, a picture of it and they said it was from New Look, so New Look must have a similar one 
if you don't want to order it from Shein. So we've got these button details again, which are really, really inside at the minute. It's got adjustable straps. They're absolutely ideal for life. <laughs> it's got a stretchy back, which is always helpful because everyone's bust size is very different. And trying to buy things in like a small, medium, large, or even like a 10, 12, 14, it's really, really hard to find stuff that fits your bust, your waist, your hips, when you're buying something for your whole body, like a jumpsuit or a play suit. It's got little pockets, which I was really quite surprised at. Again, like the detail on this for 14.99, I think it was, or 13. Yeah, for 14.99, I just think it's great. It looks like it's gonna be about mid leg, like it's not quite full leg, and they kind of just um, a wide leg bottom. Nothing very exciting, but I'm really excited to see what this looks like on. I think it'll look great on holiday with a nice straw bag and some like little straw flip flops or maybe some white flip flops and white sliders. So yeah, I'm gonna look really nice on holiday. So the next thing I've got to show you is one of those sort of holiday essentials when you wanna get a nice tan and you wanna go out and about, just a little bandeau top. So this one is a large and as you can see, it's not very large, but it'll probably fit quite nicely as it's that stretchy material and it will just cling into you. Um, I say this will probably fit between a 10 to a 14, so it's very good for everyone. And you can pair this with so many different things and it'll just be one of those really easy key pieces on holiday. It was 4 99 you can't really go wrong. Really cute, da da da, -da. that's it, that's it. So next I've got this little cute, ooh, I felt like there was more buttons and there are more buttons than I'm showing you, they're just not done up. Hang on. There we are. So I've got this little cute crop top and it's in a linen type material again. It's got really cute frill sleeves, cute little button detail and it's just a little cute crop top and I think it'll just look really nice with some denim shorts, a little bright skirt, a little pink skirt, a little white skirt. Just sort of like go with anything and just make something a little bit more classy because it's got that little frill sleeve. I also like the sort of Tudor style um, around the neckline because I just think that's a bit different. You don't really see that sort of shape very much. It's all sort of like rounded or low cut or up here. So yeah, that one was $13.99 and it doesn't look like it's going to be overly flattering by the shape of the top, but we'll see how it looks on. So the next item isn't for summer, it's more of a autumn, winter or spring, winter into spring. Um, it's just a little white jumper, but I couldn't find anything like this in the winter, so I saw it and I was just like, oh, I may as well get it and be ready for next winter slash autumn, plus we live in the UK, so the weather's not always great here. So it's just a little white jumper, it's quite thin, it's got little frill sleeves. What I will say is, the material is, as you can see in the light, look, it is very thin and it does look quite cheap quality, so I'm not really sure what that's gonna look like on, but it was $8.99. I mean, if it's reversed, I'll just send it back. I bought it in a size large, because I always think you should go up a size when buying like white tops, because they just sort of aren't very forgiving. Any sort of light, light colors aren't very forgiving, so always tend to go up a size in them, unless you have tried it on and it's completely fine. So the next item I was really excited about because I wanted something sort of like really gearly, really pretty, holiday, something that's like quite good for the heat, but it literally looks like I could camp under it. It looks like a tent. I mean, you could lose me under here. I could actually, I'm hiding under it now. There's so much of it. There's so much of it. This is too much. You just know it's gonna look like a tent and it's just gonna add so much more size to my figure than I want. So, we'll talk about the colour first. The colour in the camera looks quite nice and pink, but in real life it's much more nude pink, so it's not as baby pink as it's coming across in the camera. I don't know if I can show you any better. No, it just looks lovely and baby pink in the camera. Great. Um, but I bought this in a large because of the measurements. This is $23.99. Not expensive for a skirt, I know, but for Shein it's quite pricey. So, I mean, we're gonna have to see what it looks like on. But it's a really good length for all your tall girls out there because actually, it's really hard to find a long skirt when you're really tall. 
but this actually does go down perfect the length of it is perfect so if it looks nice it'll be a win but there's so much of it I kind of just already know that it's probably gonna be a no because I don't like anything with that much material I mean I could just wrap myself on my duvet and have that much material around me but it is very pretty very long it kind of does look a bit cheap it doesn't look very expensive but it was 23.99 so it wasn't that expensive so the next item I've got to show you is a little pair of capri pants and they're really really cute so they literally do look a little bit like pajamas but I reckon on they're gonna be fine they're just sort of scrunchy in at the waist and they're just a straight leg but I think they're gonna be a bit cropped on me which I don't know that they are meant to be I think they were 7 or 8 99 which is great they are very lightweight which would be lovely on holiday so maybe like good for traveling in with like a little white t-shirt you've also got a um, band that you can tie into a nice little bow around the waist and if these fit they'll be quite nice but we'll see um, the quality you can see the quality of them is quite poor they probably only will last you one summer they've got a few threads hanging off here and there um, and they're not great quality, but they were 7 99 okay. So, I mean, things like this, you kind of just, it's up to you whether you want to invest in something and have it year after year. If you're like me and you just get bored of things quite quickly, so you kind of just would prefer to get something a bit cheaper and then just have a new next year. So, it, like I said, it's entirely up to you. Next, I've got another pair of trousers for you, which I can't wait to try these on because I love them. As you probably know from my last few videos, I'm a bit in love with polka dot in the minute and black and white is just super classy and super easy to wear and it's kind of just effortless style. So they're kind of like flared but they're also like just quite wide leg all the way down, which I like. Um, but I also am scared that it's going to make me look a little bit like a giant on the bottom, but we shall see. I think these will look really nice with that white bandeau top that I showed you earlier, so it's $5.99 or 4 .99, and, th and these are 10 .99, and I ordered these in a medium so fingers crossed these fit because I really like them and they look really nice so the next item I've got in this section of the haul oh wow it's three pieces I just dropped one so I don't really understand how there's three pieces of it it was 14 .99. it's meant to be a two-piece so I'm guessing I'll work this out now um, I ordered in a size medium, so they're little collot trousers that kind of look like pajamas, but I kind of like that look. <laughs> they're a nice burgundy colour, which I think online they looked a bit more red maybe, I can't remember. Um, but right, I've worked it out. So this is the top, this is your little frill sleeve over the top. And then you've got a little pair of trousers, so it's actually a three piece which is meant to look like a two piece. But I think this will look nice on if it fits. Again, I'm not sure how flattering the trousers are gonna be because wide leg trousers on a girl who's a bit bottom heavy, like myself, not always the best idea, but we'll see what they look like on. Fingers crossed they're nice. So this is the last item in the sort of like tops and bottoms part of the haul um, so I always really just want some nice casual wear to wear on the house like I've got pajamas but I just sometimes see people in like really nice loungewear and I don't really want to kind of spend a lot of money on loungewear because you literally wear it around the house no one sees it it doesn't matter what it looks like really I could just wear my pajamas that are upstairs but I think it's just nice to sometimes feel nice in loungewear around the house so I saw this and it was quite cheap I think it was $14.99 I always did a large just to be on the safe side because no one wants because no one really wants loungewear to be uncomfortable or tight or digging in, but you also kind of want it to look cute and not like baggy and saggy and unattractive either. So I think the sizes for these were really small because I remember thinking, oh god, a large might even be too tight. So just a really cute pink. Pink joggers, literally so plain and simple, and they go, oh, I love, I love it when they've got a cap bottom. They just, they're just so much more flattering than like a wide leg bottom and a cute little off the shoulder top which is a little crop which I'm not being funny that's absolutely tiny so if that fits me it'll be a miracle and if it's comfy it'll be a miracle but for 15 99 just something cute to wear in the house 14 99 even great 
So we're into the last section of the haul and it's the shoes and accessories section. So, I'm wearing a pair. Right now, how cute are these? I literally love these. I love them. They're adorable. They are quite good quality. Like, they don't look cheap, I don't think. And on, they look really expensive, which we like. But, I, they are meant to be a size seven, and I say they're more of a five to six. So maybe go up a size in any shoes that you plan on ordering from Shein. These were, these were $18.99, which I don't think is expensive again for shoes. I mean, it's not as cheap as pre-mark prices, but then you wouldn't get shoes this nice in pre-mark anyway. So I like these. And even though they're a little bit short on me, if they don't have my size to go up a size, I'm gonna keep them because you could just make them big, can't you? They're actually really nice. I really like them, really like them. The next thing I've got to show you is this bag, which I'm really disappointed with because you must have seen bags like this everywhere at the minute, okay? Actually, on camera it looks all right. It looks all right, but in real life, it looks really, really quite cheap and tacky. Like, it's a little bit, it's just a little bit cheap and tacky. Mm, I'm a bit gutted. Because it was 15 99 which I know is not expensive for a bag, but I did expect it to look nicer than this from the photos. And it's just a little bit, it might be just because it's a bit squished and maybe it just needs a bit of filling out. But I don't know. On camera it looks really nice. I might keep it because it's just for holiday and it's just cheap. And the one I want is from the white company and it was like 50 pound. And I think it's just, it's just something that's gonna come in and out of fashion. Like they're probably not gonna be in fashion next year. If they are, I'll probably still have this one anyway or I can invest in one next year. So I think, I think I might keep it for that reason, but I would say it does look quite cheap in real life. Doesn't look very expensive like I expected it to, or like I think all the bags I've seen that look like this do normally look much nicer. So yeah, but it's better than spending 50 pound on the one from the white company, which like I said, they'll probably go out of fashion by next year, so. The next thing I ordered was this little pair of earrings, which I was like, mm, do I show them, do I not show them? But I thought they'd be really nice, and I'm really not impressed by them. They're just, I don't know, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I think I'm gonna send them back, I just don't think they're very, maybe it's because I've got blonde hair, if I had dark hair, they might stand out a bit more, but I think because I've got blonde hair, they're just gonna blend into my head. So we'll send them back. They were only $3.99, but I just think if I'm not gonna wear them, I may as well send them back. And with everything being so cheap on Shein, I could probably get something a lot nicer for $3.99. Next I have, thing I have to show you is a pair of heels. And I was really excited about these, but unfortunately they are too small for me. I just thought a nice pair of nude heels, you know like when you wanna go out for an evening, you just want something a little bit cash, but still quite smart to put on. They would go with everything, but they're just really not great. Like the material is all right, they feel all right quality like they would last but they're just so tiny on my feet so these will be going back although I do think they would look really nice with lots of outfits like for example this dress that I've got on right now they were just like really really great with but they're too small and I don't think they did any bigger sizes than a seven so sorry girls with us big feet tall girls with big feet life is hard for us sometimes okay like dressing trying to find shoes that fit you, trying to find clothes that are long enough for you. They don't make it easy for us. I tell you what as well, is anyone, leave me a comment below if you are in between sizes. So if you're not quite a 10, you're not quite a 12, you're not quite an eight, you're not quite a 10, you're not quite a 12, you're not quite a 14, you're not quite a 16, you're not quite a 20, whatever. If you're an in between sizer, let me know in the comments below because I feel your pain because I'm not really a 10, I'm not really a 12, but they never ever have clothes that fit you properly and it really irritates me, like you always have to compromise. I just feel like when are they gonna design something? When are they gonna make something that actually fits people? Like not, we're all so different. How do they not know that yet? Like what am I meant to do? Get every single item I order tailored? No. So let me know in the comments below if you're an in-between sizer and I feel your pain and we can just feel this pain together. I love how I'm still holding the shoe when I'm saying all this. So these shoes were $20.99, which I think is actually really good. And if they fit me, I probably would have kept them because they're really nice. Just to like, even with like jeans and a nice little white top, like that white top I showed you earlier with the buttons down, a pair of jeans and these, oh, they look lovely. I love how these came like this. 
the next pair of shoes I've got to are these little sandals, which are actually really cute, but they're sort of quite flimsy. Um, they're a size 7, but they're very, very small. They're very narrow, got wide feet, not great. Um, and the length of them, I wouldn't say they're a 7 again, they're more like a six, 5 to a 6. Um, I love the detail on them, and they are really, really pretty. Like they've got a sort of a goldy buckle on, a really pretty like frame around them. And they would look really, really elegant on someone who's got really pretty elegant feet, but apparently... And it's not news to me, I know I haven't got pretty elegant feet, but they don't look great. It's a shame, because I like them. I thought a nice pair of white sandals to go with all these nice white dresses I've got, but also just to like go with any polka dot outfits, anything like that would have gone perfectly with. White just is great on holiday when you've got a bit of a tan as well, but they're going to be going back. These were $12.99, which is really, really affordable. The quality is very average, but not bad. Um, they probably last you about two summers for 12 dollars not bad. So the last item I've got to show you in my shoes and accessories section is this little pair of pointy shoes. And when I saw them online, I'm gonna insert the picture so you don't think I've gone mad and I want to become a gnome. <laughs> they looked really cute and then they came and I was like, I don't know why I feel a bit like Michael Jackson or a gnome, I can't tell what I look like. Anyway, they don't fit me anyway, but I would have probably sent them back. They smell awful. I'm not, I mean, that smells like pure melted plastic or something. I really don't know. But it's a shame because I really like the texture. If you can see the material and the texture of them. Hang on, sorry. There we are. The material of them is really funky. And if they looked, like they look really good on with like a pair of white jeans and just like a little plain top, like, they could have like made any outfit look really smart, but they kind of also look a little bit like, I don't know, like I'm gonna be a pixie or something. So they're gonna go back again with, I figured out now, a bit late, but um, with she and shoes, definitely go up a shoe size, whatever you're ordering, because my feet did not fit into these again. So that's it, that's it. We got through everything. That was a really, really long haul, I know. So. I had so much to show you. I could have done it in two parts, but I thought, what's the point? If someone wants to really see it, they'll just watch it anyway. So I hope you enjoyed the haul. I hope you got some summer inspiration for your summer wardrobe. And I hope you liked everything that I bought. Anything you loved, let me know below. Anything you hated, let me know below. Also, there's in-between size girls. I feel you. Tall girls, I feel ya. Wide feet girls, I feel ya. All of it, like, makes buying clothes so much harder. Also, I'm just gonna show you really quickly before we finish this dress that I've got on right now, just here, so you can see it. I love this, this is keeping, okay? Anyway, so, I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Like I said, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel, and click on my subscribe button, click the bell, click it all, click the like while you're there, go down to my Instagram, follow me on Instagram, at Katie Victoria Holland. Just, you know, do it all. Join the family, be part of the squad, be part of the, the team of love and happiness and joy and all things amazing and embracing you and being your best you, because that's what I'm all about. Okay, anyway, we'll stop rambling. Love you all, bye. Oh, next week, next week, which is really excited, I've got a Gymshark haul for you. So anyone who goes to the gym, works out, doesn't want to show their bum, hopefully wants some flattering leggings, everything like that, I'm so excited for it to get here. So I'm gonna film a Gymshark haul for you next week. So that will be next week's video. And I'm gonna be doing one video a week from now on. Every single Thursday.